Professions and workplaces are increasingly becoming coffee-centric. According to a latest article printed in the journal by American Heart Association, people who already have severe hypertension, if they consume more than two cups of coffee a day, their chances of dying because of a heart attack and stroke increases. This research was conducted over 20 years over more than 18,000 people. It has to be noted that people who don't have high blood pressure, even their blood pressure rises 30 minutes after consuming a cup of coffee. This blood pressure rise is dramatic and short and may peak in the next 1 to 2 hours and may stay up high for the next 4 hours. So physiologically, there is something called as the dawn phenomena where the blood pressure starts to rise naturally in the morning when a person rises up. So by having coffee in the morning, you are adding to this rise of blood pressure. In today's time, our workplaces are toxic and stressful places which will also contribute in increasing your blood pressure. So if your workplace is stressful, and you are under immense pressure because of your job, you should not be having coffee. Another research which was published in Open Access General Psychiatry Journal says that rise in blood pressure can also make the person feel neurotic. So if neurotic behavior sets in, you will already be fighting with your colleagues, you will not be in good relationship with your boss and you will not be delivering the same high quality services to your clients. And you will be adding more coffee, you will be adding more to the blood pressure and this rise in blood pressure will be adding more to your neurotic behavior. In this post-COVID times, we saw a lot of young people dying because of heart attack and stroke. So if your workplace is toxic, your work keeps you under pressure and there are a lot of deaths happening among young individuals because of undiagnosed hypertension, don't you think you should limit your coffee?